Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Honda CRV. The vast majority of our cars are equipped with all wheel drive. Rear front wheel drive Europeans are no less passable, in this respect, you should not be afraid of them. The Honda CRV is probably the only four wheel drive car that can get stuck if at least one front wheel is stuck. The rear wheels grab late, the moment is transmitted to them clearly insufficient for serious off road conditions. So, if the front wheels skid when going up a hill, you can already go down and try again. While if the sole is loose, then most likely you will bury yourself right there. There are small chances that four wheel drive will help, especially if you have the opportunity to skid to your heart's content. But as practice shows, it is better not to rely on traction from the rear wheels. Here, as in earlier generation of CRV, a double pump circuit is used as a rear axle coupling. Let me remind you that in this clutch, the clutch pack is compressed due to the pressure difference generated by the pumps. The first one is driven from the front axle and propeller shaft, and the second from the rear wheels. And if there is difference in revolutions per minute, then they create pressure that compresses the clutches. The use of such a scheme in the 21st century can only be called madness. It works only when the front axle is seriously slipping and so that the car is not too dangerous when cornering. When the rear axle suddenly connects, the moment transmitted to the rear axle is very limited and it is transmitted very late. As a result, the presence of such an all-wheel drive scheme is not beneficial either for cross-country ability or for handling. Do not be surprised if the carton shaft is suddenly removed from the car. In the event of a malfunction, many owners do not prepare the rear wheel drive, and having once experienced the delights of the system on a slippery road, they try to get rid of it. The mixed tractions to traction are clearly not a plus for this car. It is not for nothing that ESP is included in the basic configuration of these cars and is not disabled. Funnily enough, the drivetrain itself is very reliable. If you follow the anthers and do not forget about servicing the propeller shaft, changing the oil in the bevel gear and the rear axle, then everything will be fine. Unless it is worth checking the oil level in the rear gearbox more often than usual, it is prone to leaks on older cars. There are no particular difficulties with the manual transmission either. More than sufficient clutch resource, reliable operation of the switching mechanism raises no objections. But most of the cars of this generation have an automatic transmission. Both 4 and 5 steps, which were placed on CVR 3rd, fully possesses these advantages. Moreover, the vast majority of cars have 5 speed gearboxes. Due to their small age, the boxes still cannot boast of what the machines are experiencing, but all the prerequisites for this are there. Of the Frank minuses, only the speed of work can be called. Of the interesting features, an external oil filter is optional here. For particularly difficult operating conditions, it is worth using part 25430PLR003. And since any operation in Russia is especially difficult, the filter should be installed. Unfortunately, there are a lot of Ch Chinese fakes on the market, inside of which there is a simple cartridge from the fuel filter, and even installed without sealing. Due to the nature of the box, the most common trouble here is the breakdown of the overrunning clutch associated with attempts to swing or abruptly engage in a reverse gear. And on 5-speed gearboxes, the overrunning clutch also doesn't like abrupt starts, and for those who like to press the gas to the floor, it can fail after hundreds of thousands of runs. The friction clutch resource is quite large, usually more than 300 400,000 km. The gearbox is characterized by uneven wear, in which the clutches of the higher gears are usually worn out more, because they provide the main mileage of the car, and the load on the first or second gear is almost absent from neat drivers. Another feature of the automatic transmission from Honda is a wide range of options for the execution of elements within the same series. 5-speed automatic transmissions are not so easy to fix on your own for this very reason. They are all very, very different. In general, despite the very large resource of the mechanical part, which here firstly works on rolling bearings and secondly only on only the mechanics of the one gear are always loaded, a certain amount of trouble and repairs will be required already with runs a little over 150,000 km. The service life of the solenoids is not infinite, they need to be replaced, especially in the line pressure solenoids. It may require cleaning the plate, especially if the driver lacked active moment and the car didn't have an external filter. Motors of the key series were installed on Honda cars by the time of the appearance of the third generation of the sideboard for a long time. The second generation of the crossover also drove them. In fact, the motors are the same and the difficulties are the same. Good oil appetite for some specimens, low chain resource, about 100-120,000 mileage, coloring of the camshafts and the need to control the timing gaps every 40-50,000 mileage, 
numerous oil leaks. And yet, in general, these are excellent and very resourceful units, and besides, they are designed for the use of low viscosity as AE20 oils, which allows you to maintain a margin of oil pressure on used engines. Of course, when used on high mileage, as AE30 as AE60 oils. The motors are distinguished by very good traction and character and a good layout. They also have a good supply for tuning and a wide selection of components for tuning both atmospheric options and compressor ones. Surprisingly, earlier versions of the motors seem to be more reliable. The same K24A1 on the second generation of the machine have on average a higher resource of chains in comparison with the K24Z4, which were put on the hero of today's review and are less prone to the manifestation of an oil appetite. Good ones not mean that the motor will not require maintenance. The more common problem is engine oiling due to poor performance of the crankcase ventilation system and poor design of a number of units. Leaking well cover gaskets reduce the life of the plug tips and ignition modules. Plastic cylinder head plugs number 2051-3P7203003 can cause unexpectedly rapid oil leakage. Both the IVTEC unit gaskets and the front crankshaft oil seal can cause leaks. All these parts require regular replacement and the ventilation system is monitored, cleaned and even reworked. Upgraded crankcase ventilation kits are on sale, but you can also independently check the integrity of the system components, especially the PCV 3616-2RA A01 valve, 1713-6PNA-00 bushing and 1713-0PNA-003 check valve, and the latter can be easily selected from VAG products at a much more reasonable price, for example, Rebels for 60. Due to the poor performance of the ventilation system, cleaning the throttle well with mandatory subsequent adaptation also becomes a regular operation. The relatively small timing resource on this series of motors is sometimes associated not so much with chains as with quickly worn out dampers and a quick failure of the phase shifter. The subsequent drop in pressure leads to shocks in the timing mechanism, the suppressions and suspicions of the chain and the replacement of all associated units. Sometimes everything is bypassed by replacing the phase regulator valve. The symptoms of its malfunctions are similar. The motor will also thunder cold and after warming up it is unpleasant to make noise. In principle it is quite convenient to check the chain where here. There is a window for installing the tensioner about the crankshaft pulley in the block, through which you can visually assess the chain wear without relying on indirect signs. Often interference with the timing mechanism is caused by the need to replace the camshafts, they do not last too long here. Often by a 100,000 run, the car noticeably loses power, and when changing the oil, characteristic steel crumbs are clearly visible in working out. Ignoring the problem usually leads to much more serious damage. The problem is not cheap, camshafts and couplings are expensive. Engines with mileage over 200 almost always have a pronounced oil appetite. In most cases, the reason lies in the wear of oil scrapper and piston rings, but the problem may appear much earlier, successfully masking leaks. The main enemy of the motor is its catalyst and lambdas. The latter should be checked and changed without waiting for the catalyst to become bad, and the catalyst must be replaced or removed before the chips from its ceramic graft cylinders. Usually with runs of more than 200,000, replacement is required, but control with an endoscope is necessary even with runs of more than 100,000, especially if the machine is operated in a region with winter frost below 30 degrees. Also, the conditions of the spark plugs and components of the ignition system strongly affect the catalyst resource. Unfortunately, in the eastern regions it is not uncommon to use cold candles from Japan, since iridium candles really last a long time. European users of the car usually dislike such tricks with service. And this information about the problems of the Honda CRV is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.